today um today we are going to talk another talk about another uh, view angiographic view as we have been talking so we have covered the lao caudal view rao caudal view and now we will move on to the cranial views so with that i want you to look at the cine image on the left and again as we talked about last time if somebody gives you this angiographic view and ask you what kind of view it is it should take you few seconds to recognize that and as we talked in the last video first of all you look at the catheter and in this case you see that the catheter is folded on itself is retracted so it's probably an rao view and then the next thing you want to look at is the diaphragm here you see the diaphragm in the middle of the screen uh, and as the patient is inspiring and expiring you can also see the the movement of the diaphragm so when you see the diaphragm covering the most part of the image that is probably a cranial view so rao cranial view exactly the view that we will be talking about today and then and we will cover that the rao cranial or basically the cranial views are good for the led so that is important because in a cranial view the artery that will be in the middle of the screen laid out nicely will be your led so with that um, we go over individual things that we will be looking in this particular view again looking at picture one here as we talked about the ii or the image intensifier here shown with the arrows is in the rao position and is more towards the head end so it's a rao cranial view and another thing as i always stress is you have to know your x-ray will be in the opposite direction to your image or the where your ii is so in this case the x-ray source is in the lao caudal position so with that we come to the first thing uh, looking at the catheter and as we talked in the beginning in the rao views or basically in the right sided views the catheter will be retracted they will be folded on itself so in this case if you look at this picture too you see that the catheter is kind of folded on itself as compared to the lao views where most of the time you will see the catheters to be open so this is going to give you a clue that the image that you are looking at is, is mainly mostly the rao view the next thing is you look at the catheter and you see the catheter coming below the diaphragm so again a hint for you that this is probably a femoral approach so after discussing the catheter we move on to the coronary anatomy and as we talked about the cranial views are good for led so here you see the led in red i am putting small arrows and you kind of see it running probably 5 o'clock or 6 o'clock position depending on how much angulation that you have on your image intensifier it is a very good view to look at the led here if you see you see a big septal perforator coming down probably in the 7 o'clock position and you can see that in the cine angiographic view on the left what i want to you to focus is that right around like 4 o'clock 4 o'clock position you see this artery coming out from the led going towards the right side of your screen so that's your diagonal branch so this view cranial view will help you look at the septal perforators 
the LED, the prox LED, the mid LED, the mid to distal LED, and also you will be able to look at the diagonal branches. If you want to look at, this is the same patient that we discussed in the LAO caudal view um, and the RAO caudal view. And if you go back and look at those cine images, you will see that you will not be able to look or appreciate the diagonal branch coming off from the LED. But in this view, you can see it very nicely and you can see if there is any stenosis or any disease in that diagonal branch. Not a very nice uh, split in the distal LED, but as we talked about, uh, distally the LED usually splits in a mustache pattern. I'm drawing a little mustache here, an Italian mustache. So it usually splits in a mustache pattern uh, into two small branches as it wraps around the apex of the heart. This view is also good to look at other arteries, especially if you want to look at the arteries in other plane. For example, this left circumflex artery, you can see the artery, but again, as I said, it might be folded on itself. It, there might be some overlap. It might be foreshortened. Not a very good view for the left circumflex, but still, if the patient has got an eccentric plaque, and you are not able to appreciate a stenosis in the left circumflex in the caudal views. In the cranial views, you can also see and appreciate any eccentric plaque or the stenosis. Going towards the three o'clock position and then coming down is your, in this case, the ramus intermedius. Again, if you look in the cine image on the left, you will see there is a lot of overlap and you might not be able to see the, the ostium or the origin of the ramus intermedius. So again, as far as the coronary anatomy goes, the cranial views are really good for looking at the LED as the LED is laid out very nicely. Next, we move on to the other mediastinal structures. Uh, we kind of covered that in the beginning you see this diaphragm, I'm just highlighting that in picture two here, and you can appreciate in the cine image on the left, you see that the diaphragm is occupying most portion of, of your screen. That kind of tells you that is a cranial view. So I want you to go back to this picture one here. And if you look at this X-ray here, and as we talked about, as the X-ray beam goes up, while you are taking a cranial view, or in this case, an RAO cranial view, the X-ray beam will first enter the diaphragm. And that's why you see the diaphragm in the cranial views. Um, and then as the X-ray beam will move up, it will come across the heart, and then it will cross the spine. So this is kind of the way you will see the image in the cine view. The spine will be onto your left, onto the left of the screen. And again, this is all because if you have, have the uh, understanding that the X-ray source is, is on the opposite direction of the image intensifier or the way the image is, is labeled. The hard border, will be a little rounded, not a very good for you to do an LV gram, but you can still see the heart borders. Um, if you want to do an LV gram, probably going uh, straight RAO would be a better option. So this was a very quick overview, trying to put things together for the RAO cranial view. We will try to keep it very simple as we have already discussed all these things in the other views. Basically what we will be doing in these series is, is basically reinforcing the idea as to how we recognize the arteries and other uh, mediastinal structures, trying to recognize the, the image. 
I hope this was helpful. Have a very good day.